Good evening and thanks for joining us. First tonight, putting perfectly good food to use instead of waste. As we've reported in the past few weeks, supermarkets have been throwing out millions of dollars worth of food even before it reaches the use-by date. Well, now there's a real campaign to make them respond to community outrage. Michelle Tapper has more. I'm Michelle Tapper from Today Tonight and we'd just like to know why are you throwing out perfectly good edible food? I can't actually comment on any of that police stuff. Bags of apples. What's wrong with these apples? Absolutely nothing. Oh, more bags of apples. More pineapple juice that doesn't expire. Look at this. Anybody want some pineapple juice? This is what the big supermarkets don't want you to see. Bin loads of fresh food tossed out as rubbish. This doesn't even expire for seven or eight months. That's what I'm saying. There's no... I don't understand. There's no logical reason to have to throw these out. Desperate to keep this obscene waste a secret, supermarkets keep their bins locked and security on alert. We've got a whole wheelie bin here full of fresh cabbage, lettuces, celery. You've got apples in there that people could eat. Why are you throwing it away? I thought Excuse Woolworths... me, out of my way. Imagine if you came here day after day and, and again multiply that over a week, over a month, over a year. You could feed entire families and communities. Feed entire really. nations. Andrew Bromelsey and Harry Good are filmmakers, uh, documenting uh, supermarket waste, Michael Moore style. It's one broken egg, right. so they've thrown out the whole box of eggs. Can you believe that? We're out the back of a supermarket. I saw this guy throwing an entire trolley of eggs into the bin. What's the use by date on there? 27th of April. Three weeks away. Shocked by this Woolworths dumpster filled with boxes of eggs, Harry and Andrew have posted their findings on YouTube. So instead of actually taking out the broken ones, they've thrown the whole lot out. Taking matters into their own hands, they decided to see what Meals on Wheels would pay for the unwanted eggs. They're too good to throw out, aren't they? Yeah. Well, what is the pack of these eggs? It's about $2.80. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now the men are on a mission to get supermarkets to donate their edible and unwanted food to charity. You can see that charities shouldn't have to buy food. There's so much food that's thrown out that's good. Why should they be buying food? It's seriously, that's fresher than some of the stuff you'll find on their shelf. Unbelievable. Before this, supermarkets claimed they'd be sued if anyone got sick on their throwaways. But that's not true. The Good Samaritan laws allow them to donate good quality food to charities everywhere except the Northern Territory. I think it's wrong that supermarkets should be throwing out such large amounts of food waste. There's something fundamentally wrong with that when so many Australians are doing it tough at the moment. Founder of the Do Something National Foodwise campaign, John Dee, wants supermarkets accountable for their waste. Most people have no idea that when food rots in landfill, whether it comes from supermarkets or from your homes, it gives off a gas called methane. And as a greenhouse gas, methane is 20 times more potent than the carbon pollution that comes out of your car exhaust. Last year, we donated uh, over 1,200 tonnes of food from our distribution centres to an organisation called Food Bank, who then distribute that food to other charities. Um, we also um, recycled about 6,000 tonnes of organic waste from our stores in Sydney. That got turned into biofuels. Woolworths spokesperson, Claire Buchanan. We've been trialling a scheme whereby we're working with charities such as Oz Harvest and Fair Share um, to actually be able to give fresh food direct from the back docks of our supermarkets to charities who can then turn it into meals for people who need it. That scheme's been going really, really well and hopefully in the next few months we'll be looking to roll that out nationally. Are these bread rolls going to be thrown away too? Trolleys, trolley loads of bread rolls? So prolific are throwaways, a new movement called Freeganism has evolved, where people live off the waste of supermarket chains or food they grow. If you've got sealed meat, that's usually pretty good, or vacuum sealed bacon. Ash Falkenham and his friend Carvin are Freegans. All the food in the bins would more than feed every hungry person in Australia, without a doubt. Supermarkets aren't the only ones that waste food. Australians throw away more than 3 million tonnes of food each year. That's around 145 kilos per person per annum, or around a quarter of what we buy. So how does it make you feel when you see dumpsters full of good edible food? I'm appalled. 
I'm absolutely, I'm disgusted. It is, it's, you know, it's shocking. You know, I think a lot of, a lot of people that are homeless or people that, uh, that, um, you know, can't afford a decent meal and have to get food from charities, they just think this has just been total waste. Now, this afternoon, Aldi told us it donated food uh, from 14 of its 200-plus stores and was looking to expand its donation program. Coles says it only disposes of food that's no longer fit for sale because it's out of date, damaged or mishandled. Now to